<laughs> Hi again. So, for my last video, a lot has happened. Um, yeah, that was a really bad week. Well, um, I don't want to talk too fast, but I do know I have to pick this fast. I might have to cut it off. If not, I'll just keep continuing, but if I do, I'll just make another video. Fuck you. And yeah, that's my phone going off. Same as last video, but um, anyway, so okay, yeah, I'm way better now with the whole job core thing. I don't know if I'm gonna stay in the program the whole th like time as I'm supposed to because, like, it's just really effed up with the whole thing. I just got into culinary. And I got my uniform and everything. I would show you, but I laid up like, you know, dropping the iPod <laughs> and like, you know, getting it. But, um, just a regular chef's outfit. And we go to like CCAC, which is like a college where I live. We go there and then, um, for like three months. And then we go back to like, um, JC, aka Job Corps, for another three months. But now they have it all effed up, so we only are there for like a week, which was like the end of this week, and we're now gonna stay at um, Chop Core and just make people's lunches, and um, then we're gonna go f w with Chef, Chef Jeff, okay, for like the rest of the three months. This. The um, first three months we were supposed to be working with Chef Dave, but apparently it's like a different job. So I just kind of messed up a lot of stuff with, with us. And um, at first he said we might have to go back to intro. And when everyone heard that, we were like, no. No, because all of us have been there for like at least four months already. And we did not want to go back. If I had to go back, either I would just um, get my GED and leave, or go into a different shop. But I'd rather not go in a different shop because I already like everyone in my class and everyone and I'm already used to everything but having to go do it all over again is f uh, stupid. <laughs> For some reason I'm trying not to swear. I don't know why. I swear constantly. Okay. Oh, by the way, I have finally got my ADD meds a couple weeks ago on a Saturday. But I really don't feel like they're working because I still get distracted, I still forget. And, I mean, I've been on them for, like, a while now. Like, I did just start them. And, I mean, I still feel like, whoa. Like, it's not working. Like, either I have to get more of a dosage or something. Or, like, a different type of AD med. I don't know. I have to talk to them again. And, no, I don't have bipolar. I keep thinking I do. But it's probably just, like, my hormones with, like, my freaking depo shot. Which is like the birth control thing. I might have to change that too. To do the birth control pills, which I was on, but I changed it because I maybe bleed like way more than I should. Like I'll have like two periods in like one month, which is I don't like it. I mean, yeah, it's supposed to regulate it, but I didn't like it. Depo, I like way more, but it's whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. And oh, after that video was made, my last video. I had like a really bad weekend like with my boyfriend. It wasn't really that bad. I just kind of made it bad because I overthink, I worry, and with all the shit I go through, it's just, yeah. But it's okay because we made up and we got closer and after like a week later he said I love you to me <laughs> and like it was the first time saying I love you and he said to me first. And since then, he's been really close to me, and he said it to me, like, a whole bunch. Like, not all the time, but, like, at the all special times, which makes it, like, so much better. And it's just, oh my god, like, I really do love him. And I know it's, like, only been two months, but he's, like, totally different. And it's be he's, like, the best I ever had in a guy. And, um, I am seeing him, like, later after this. And that's why I kind of have to hurry it up, because so I don't know when he's coming. And I got the phone with him. And, yeah, like... He's being like really funny. He just taught me a new word and I didn't even know what it meant. <laughs> but um yeah. Oh, and that Nick guy, um it's really confusing what happened. Like we just stopped talking for like for no reason, like out of nowhere. 
I liked it that he was a douchebag. And I'm not saying he isn't, like he still kind of is in a way. But we're cool now, like we're just friends. But like, and he really is a nice guy, but he still is a douchebag. Like, I think it was a douchebag, but we're cool now, which makes me happy because I like being cool with everyone. I don't like having like, you know, hatred towards anyone. And he was like my only problem at job cool. Like, I didn't like going just to see his face. But now that we're cool, it's cool. And, um, my other friend, Mike, he's by bisexual he's like very cuddly he, like he loves like like hug people and like every time I see him he always cuddles me and shit and I think that's cute and um I had gotten really close to my um gay friend Zach him and his boyfriend are so cute and like every time I go to CCAC we always like stalk this one really cute guy there <laughs> and yeah I know I have a boyfriend he has a boyfriend too like we don't flirt with him with anyone we just stalk really cute people <laughs> but um yeah, and I've been having a good week, like, I like learning how to cook and making new friends and stuff like that. And, um, I have, like, a list on my computer, I'm reading it so I don't forget because of my ADD, like I said. Oh, and, um, I started, like, gauging my ears, like, stretching them. Um, this is, like, a two-gauge plug right now. Yeah, I'm going, like, after this, like, zeros and that's pretty much it and um yeah thanks to my boyfriend he helped me out by starting it because he's at zeros but he's trying to like size them down because he has good marines yeah so um oh and i'm supposed to be seeing my therapist my regular therapist but i haven't been able to so i've been going to like the job core therapist guy and he's been helping me but yeah it's really difficult making these appointments and stuff oh and when i was and um Monday when I first got into culinary and I was talking to Chef Dave, our new chef, which is going to change soon, he got me like really freaking worried, like he started talking about like how the economy is effed up, how like oh the welfare is going to go away, how like this generation is going to have like no jobs, or they're not going to be able to find any jobs, like it's really difficult to find any jobs, like blah blah blah, and it's just like got me worried because like I'm still 17 and I'm almost 18, almost an adult. I need to like get my act together, like I am being more independent, but like I still have like a child like mine away because I still don't know how to function adult stuff and it's like so confusing, like I need to get my act together, like I don't want to rush right away because like I still like being a kid, but at the same time like I can't be a kid forever and I just need to understand stuff and like I'm worried because what's going to happen, like everything's going to change and how am I going to figure stuff out and it's just kind of worries me really. But, hold on, but yeah, like, that, like, just really boggled me, I was, like, getting upset. And this whole week, we just kind of been, like, learning knife skills, we made mashed potatoes, cutting and slicing stuff, basically, and the whole knife skills just makes me like wanna throw a knife at someone cause it makes me mad and um since I've been in like job court for so long in like last video I told you how ghetto it is I'm starting to like talk like I'm ghetto like today I didn't notice it until someone mentioned it I was like talking about like these two kids and how they were skipping and I was like they be skipping and I didn't notice it and then like someone like laughed at me and they're like laughing and I'm like why are they laughing and they're like you just said they'd be skipping like you don't talk like that like although we talk like that you don't talk like that and I was like oh my god I've been here so long I'm still gonna talk like a fucking ghetto ass wigger motherfucker <laughs> like I don't talk like that I almost punched myself in the face but yeah besides all that I mean that's basically it I'm gonna see my boyfriend this weekend. Maybe do some stuff here and there. I mean, I was supposed to see my friends, but like, they basically ditched me. But, whatever. That's about it. So, yeah.